Bonjour, mon ami, mon ami, uh, mon ami, uh, hello, and welcome to uh, this episode of Is It Shit. Uh, with me, Dan and Sean. Um, I, again, we got a request to look at this stuff, didn't we, once, and we... Well, several times, yeah. by many people, when we first started the channel, they were like, why aren't you reviewing Analog Obsession stuff? Yeah. And we've reviewed loads of it now. And we love it. We do. It's good. Okay, so what are we looking at now? Today we are looking at the Analog Obsession T Rec. I think it might be called a T R E Q. And as you can see, this is the Trident eighty B EQ. And I demoed a pair of uh, Trident eighty B five hundred series a couple of years ago, I think. And that's a really nice EQ. I mean, obviously off the old Trident console from the seventies, but it's just an epic sounding EQ. Quite simple in the the top. Uh, it's selectable uh, frequency. You've oh, what is it, fifteen and seven or whatever it is? Can't remember what it is now. Mm. And then you've got the the cut or boost uh, eight or twelve. Yeah, there you go, eight or twelve. Then you've got the two mid range where it is sweepable. You can choose your your Q, not your Q. This is what you can't do. You can choose your frequency and cut or boost it, but there's no Q setting, so that's set. And then down the bottom, you've got a low boost again, which you can choose between two set frequencies and a high pass filter. So it's pretty simple. It's not fully parametric, but it sounds awesome on almost everything. So, um, yeah. I love uh, the analog obsession stuff. Initially, when we looked at it, I thought it looked a bit too basic because it doesn't, I think the GUI, they don't have that sort of 3D element to it, do they? They don't go for the shadows and stuff. No, that's they? it. But I, the more they do, the yeah. more I really like the sort of basic. Yep. It just works. Look and it, to it. Yeah. It looks cool. Yeah. It does look cool. Yeah. Yeah. Proper VU meter. Yeah. It's nice. It's really nice. It's, you know, unlike all the Analog Obsession stuff, if you click on their logo, uh, that's how you turn the oversampling on. Uh, it's scalable. And like all Analog Obsession stuff, um, they'd like you to pay a subscription. Normally it's like $5 a month or something on Patreon. But you can, if you want, just go and grab it for free. If you like it, pay for it. Absolutely. If you use it, pay for it definitely pay for it if you like it. it's so good this this is one of those things that you could probably use on most channels in a mix and you'll get a solid mix with it it was uh, they were saying main major desks in the uh, 80s or before digital consoles were tridents neves ssls yeah i guess yeah around the time i started tridents were kind of losing favor a bit at the mm. end of the 80s beginning of the 90s but yeah in the 70s tridents were everywhere and a lot of probably the biggest rock records ever were recorded on trident desks um and you can still sort of get their descendants there's there's stuff out there and the 500 series of this the 80b module is out there and relatively cheap i think they're like three or four hundred quid mm. which is banging but this is free so be, yeah be worth uh be, be worth buying one of those wouldn't it or a cut pair of those um they've been on my shopping list ever since i tried them out yeah i would have got them there and then i got tempted into buying something else <laughs> and um yeah they're still on the shopping list they've gone up a bit since i looked at them yeah but yeah i'd love to have a pair yeah awesome <laughs> you're laughing because i said i'd love to have, have a pair. pair yeah i am i am i, I know am. your brain better than you yeah well there's not a lot to know um <laughs> Uh, so, anything that you want to add about the uh, TREQ? Um, only that you should go and get it. It's just a no-brainer for me. This one will get a lot of use. Um, it, it sounds great. Looks like the original. But they've done... Ah, oh, interestingly. So, we were talking mm. about this, weren't we, on the last one we did mm. about is it good that plugins look like the hardware or should they yeah. make them slightly more user-friendly yeah. on a screen? And... Uh, in this situation, I guess they've done that. Mm. So the bit on the left is basically what the 500 series rack looks like. Yeah. And the bit on the right, they've added onto it. Yeah. On the left. And I see it's, right, it's scalable as well. So that's obviously going to yeah. pull things apart, make it easier yeah. to use. And I think that's that's a massive thing, scaling mm. plugins. There's some old plugin alliance plugs I've got which don't scale and mm. they're so annoying because you can't see them on the screen. No. Well, you can't. Oh, well, I yeah. can't. I'm yeah. sure if you sit right up close to your laptop yeah. and you're 15, you can see everything perfectly. But... <laughs> I'm 50. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. So I think I know the answer, but Mr. Vincent, uh, the yes. TREQ, is it shit? Hell no. No, really good. Free. Go and grab it. If you use it, pay for it. We love Analog Obsession. Shout outs. We do. Thanks for the intro. Cool. All right. So what have we got left to say then? I guess Not we need to remind you to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, we have the Instagram, which is Studio Life 101. We've got Patreon and a shop and various other links down below in the box. Yes. Go and have a click.
exactly that and we will see you next time adios